Each year, the UK produces approximately 2,500 kilotons of plastic. It is therefore unsurprising that we are living in the plastic age. The use of plastics in packaging is widespread, and plastic does have many advantages. There are a huge variety of polymer structures which are classed as plastics. A polymer is a repeated sequence of many monomers. The simplest chemically is polythene, an example of a chain growth or addition polymer using ethene as its monomer. Even within polythene, there is further classification based on branching and density. E.g. high density polythene, low density polythene, and cross link polythene. Low density branched polythene is made by free radical polymerisation. High density unbranched polythene is far more difficult and requires a Ziegler natter catalyst. The hydrogens on the carbon backbone can be substituted to create a wide variety of other addition and condensation polymers. Plastics can be produced in a wide variety of colours, making them more desirable for consumer products. The weight of packaging has importance in transportation and waste. Using an alternative to plastic could increase the weight by 400%, energy costs by 100% and material wastage by 150%. The structure of plastics mean they have excellent barrier properties and are generally seen as safe to use with food. They are resistant to corrosion by acids and can be used to package bleaches. Plastics are, of course, becoming more widely recycled. However, not all plastics can be recycled, and those that can must be separated into groups of different polymer structures. The process is quite time consuming. Other packaging materials can be much more easily recycled. They can be cheaper to produce and come from renewable resources. Examples include glass, metal and card. Why then do we use plastics? Glass is easily recycled and is low cost, but its high weight and fragility makes transportation and storage expensive. Metal is recyclable and lightweight, but over time it may react with food and it can cause negative environmental impact on the environment if it isn't recycled. Cheap, recyclable, biodegradable, renewable and lightweight, but card is easily damaged and isn't water resistant which seriously limits its usage. The main disadvantages with plastic is at the start and end. Large quantities of crude oil are needed as a raw material. Some monomers may be created as a byproduct from cracking long carbon chains to produce useful petrol and diesel. The long chained, least useful alkanes in crude oil are cracked to produce more useful short chained alkanes and alkenes which can be polymerised into plastics. But there is a high demand for plastics which as well as oil as a raw material use energy for producing the required polymers. These put a strain on the environment which is enhanced further by the release of huge quantities of toxic gases. The temporary nature of plastic as packaging means huge quantities end up in landfill. These cannot be burned as they release cost images into the atmosphere. The use of bisphenol A and polycarbonate plastic and epoxy resin has caused health concerns over many years. So the estrogenic and hormonal effects linked to issues include obesity, reduced testosterone levels and reduced immune response. Epoxy resins are used as the inside coating of food and drink cans. Polycarbonate plastics are used for drinks bottles. In recent years, there has been an increase in biodegradable plastics used in packaging. Biodegradable plastics easily break down in the soil or atmosphere as a result of action from microorganisms. Compostable plastics are examples of biodegradable plastics that leave no visually distinguishable or toxic residue. Degradation of plastics can occur through other means as well. Photodegradable are degraded by natural daylight. Oxidative 
Reactive by oxidation and hydrolytic by hydrolysis. PCL is a petroleum based synthetic. It is usually blended or cross-linked to raise its melting point and glass transition temperature. The glass transition temperature is the temperature at which the plastic goes from being rigid into a rubber-like substance. It is easily enzyme degraded, so it is used as a soft compostable packaging. PLA can be produced chemically or biologically. The properties of the polymer depend on the ratio of DNL form, which is a way of describing atomic configuration. Degradation takes place by hydrolysis and enzyme depolymerization, but the extent of the roles of each of these is still debated. PGA has an ester linkage in its fat room, which is cleaved by hydrolysis as water diffuses into the amorphous, or less ordered regions of the polymer matrix. Once the glycosylic acid monomers have been formed, these are dissolved in water. It has been argued that a very biodegradable plastic can be reused and recycled just as any other plastic. The public is less likely to bother. This would be a waste of both energy and resources. There have also been claims that tiny amounts of metals put into biodegradable plastics remain as toxic leftovers. These include lead and cobalt. We've seen that the argument over whether or not to use plastic packaging is not clear cut. Plastic has many advantages and this makes it highly suitable for our needs. However, without improvements to reduce environmental impact and the drain on limited natural resources, it is clear it is not a long-term viable option. There is a clear need to reduce packaging as a whole, and companies are making improvements with this. For example, Easter eggs are notoriously highly packaged, but in recent years there have been campaigns to reduce this. This Easter, my Easter egg had comes with the label, purple goes green, and it is 16% less packaged. If we look inside, we find it is a thin layer of card and inside is only just the easter egg in its foil. There is no plastic packaging. Only cardboard separating the egg and the twirl bar. I hope I have given you more insight into plastic, especially when you develop the biodegradable. Plastic is extremely useful, hence its widespread use. There are many disadvantages with it too. And perhaps when shopping, you should think about the packaging just as much as the product inside.